Let's talk about Warhammer Seasons and how it's going to change the way you conquer the galaxy. It's very exciting. This is the new way that Warhammer 40k is going to be dealing with competitive 40k and matched play. And how I've been seeing lots of people get very angry about it on Twitter. Just like everything in Warhammer, as soon as they announce something, people get angry. So I'm here to shell. Warhammer Seasons, Vigilus Alone from Warzone Nakmund which is the new wall zone we're going to be fighting in. And for, for those that don't know, we've, we do have a trailer which we're going to watch as well that kind of explains it all. But essentially, Warhammer 40k is moving to a, a bi-annual release of mission pack, update, campaign, etc. So you've got like campaign supplements, the mission pack for competitive and match play, updated codexes, new models, etc. But the idea is every six months, there will be a war zone which you will fight in for that season. Like a battle pass, like a Fortnite season, you know? Get it? Like Fortnite. It's like Fortnite. Everyone thinks Fortnite. The whole point is, is that a season will be based in one place, which will revolve, the story and the narrative will revolve around this one place. And then this, the next six months, it will move to somewhere else. And with that, we'd like to see a new chapter approved, essentially a chapter approved for new missions for competitive match play and maybe new points as well. Let's watch the trailer. In the new season, they started off so well. 40, We're returning to one of the deadliest war zones in the galaxy. But the script reading Let's take a look. Ringe. It's already been polarized yeah, once. The script reading is every faction. Ringe. The, Why don't the, the loot, boxes? Loot, loot boxes? Loot boxes are come in. Vigilus is the gateway through the Great Rift. Listen, loot boxes are going to come, okay? They're going to work out a way for loot boxes. They already had Space Rune Heroes, which are essentially card packs, okay? Basically loot boxes. They're going to find a way. Rules are going to be in loot boxes very soon. It looks like they use charisma as their dump star. Fuck me. <laughs> it has new so we've got a new campaign book. A new army okay. Renown, and a war of faith campaign to link your games together. So the campaign book sounds very much like we're already getting. We're already getting campaign books. We've had Warzone Octarius. We've had Warzone Caradon. <laughs> <laughs> the new Grand Tournament Mission Pack will provide the framework for the next six months of competitive play, with new missions, secondary objectives and points updates. Now this is what people are blowing up about. This is what people are getting very angry about. The new Mission Pack, for the next six or the months Grand of Tournament play. Mission Pack. Um, because like people are like saying, oh well, I've got to buy one every six months now. Oh, it's really annoying. I didn't even use the last one. Now I've got to buy another one. It's interesting. Now, basically what they're doing, what they're doing, what it feels like they're doing, is what they've already been doing but just like randomly. So people are blowing up about this and they're blowing up about the chapter approved, but we're, we're already getting these books at, at the moment, okay? We've just had Warzone Octarius, um, which had two books. We had one for Tyranids and Guard, and we had one for Orcs as well. Um, with that, it came with a Crusade book. The only thing that they're really doing, like what feels like they're doing more often now is the chapter approved book. Because what we normally see is we see a chapter approved and then we see like, Every six months, we see like a free points update, okay? A free points update, which is like really good for the game because it keeps it healthy. But what they feel like or what they want to do and what it looks like they're going to be doing is going to be bringing out one of these every six months, which means for people who want to play tournaments, you're going to have to buy a new chapter approved every, every six months. Now, every three months, there's going to be a free battle balance update, but like the balance date is slight, like they did a couple of months ago. Uh, which like kind of addresses everything but every six months there'll be updates to the points in the munitor and field manual and also updates to the mission pack the thing is lots of people are getting angry about this because they're not getting free points okay you're gonna have to buy them what if you just don't buy it <laughs> now the the people i've seen complaining like there's people i like on twitter who are complaining about it and there's people i don't like on twitter who are complaining about it <laughs> and the people i don't like i'm directing this at you okay now for me it's a, it's annoying because I've got to I've got to keep learning new missions and I've got to keep updating my points. But however, if they're staying off on top of the points, right? If they're staying on top of the points and keeping the game balanced, that's only good for me as a competitive player. But the problem is is this is being marketed as a grand tournament mission pack. So the people who don't play tournaments and play casually but play match play play they play matched play okay i'm not saying you don't play match play but if you don't play tournaments you don't have to play these missions 
I think that's what people are struggling. Either I'm missing it, or maybe you guys know more. Let me know down in the comments or in the in the chat right now. Like maybe I'm missing it. Maybe I'm missing something. But if you don't play tournaments and you just play with the same people week in week out, why would you buy this mission pack if you don't want to? Okay. If you want to play new missions, you want to spend twenty quid or whatever it's going to be. Fair enough. Okay. But if you play matched play with your friends, but you just play with the same group of people. There's match play missions in the core rule book, which you need to play. There's a chapter approved, like that's 20 quid now, which you probably have, which has loads of missions in there as well. And the new one, which you, the 2020 version or 2021 version, which you might not have bought, is going to be really cheap on eBay soon, <laughs> as is this one in six months time. It's going to be like really, really cheap. Okay. And... Let's be honest. Do you still have your field manual? Have you not thrown it away like I did? Because I use Battle Scribe to write my lists. Like, <laughs> and if I only play one army, I have a codex, okay? And once a codex comes out, it has the update of points in there. And then when there's changes, someone will tell you. It might be in this Munitor and Field Manual, but for the love of God, it's definitely going to be on Battle Scribe a week later for free. Sorry, Games Workshop. You're going to keep trying to get rid of it, but we all use it. So make a good app and we'll use that instead. You could say that like Battlescribe is just piracy, you know, fair point. But you could also just say, well, if you add your codex code to the 40k app, you'll get your points there. You know, there is no code in, in chapter approved that doesn't link to the app. So if you have your updated codex code, if you bought a codex, here you go, Mr. Games Workshop, then the points are on the app for free because you've got it, you know, because you bought a codex. So that's not piracy. That's like the legit route. But what I'm saying is, is most people use Battlescribe anyway, and people just pirate it there, you know? It's literally free. <laughs> it's just in a book. <laughs> you can just buy it in this book. So you only need to buy this book if you want to play these missions. And if you don't want to play these missions because you only play once every six months, you can play any mission you like. There's six in the core rule book. There's six or nine even in the last two chapter approves what else do you need to play warhammer if you're playing casually do you just want to play the new missions well then buy the new book if you don't want to play the new missions you don't want to pay 25 quid why do you want to buy the new book you don't have to you've got all your points you've got your codex with all your new models and then just play the old missions you know you could go back and play a third edition mission if you want because it's a game <laughs> like if you have friends then just talk to them if you want to play like the relic which is an eighth edition slash seventh edition mission you can play that in ninth edition all you have to do is just say hey do you want to play the relic but just modify it for our games and i don't i don't understand why you like the people who i see complaining again the ones i don't like the people who are complaining don't play tournaments like me personally i will buy a chapter approved but the thing is if you don't play tournaments then why do you need it as a tournament player this is meant I get, I get updates to my army every six months. Awesome, you know? I might get a patch every three months for the other armies that are really broken. Awesome. There's brand new missions every six months, which keeps the game really fresh and doesn't feel stale because it's been the same missions for two years. This line here, this word, Grand Tournament, is like super important. And I think they market it as matched play. They market it as a match play supplement. But really, it should be marketed as a tournament supplement for people who play tournaments. And people who play together, who use points, play match play. Okay, match play is when you're playing the equal amount of points. But then the tournament play, grand tournament play, let's call it, which uses this, grand tournament play, is for people who only play tournaments. And it's for tournament playing. You don't have to use this if you're not playing tournaments, but you can if you want. And I feel like they just miss the marketing, which gets everyone like high rate about it, where it's like, it's for tournaments only. If you're not playing tournaments, you don't need to buy this. You just get your points on Battlescribe because that's where you write your lists anyway. You don't use the GW app because it's crap, but that will also get updated with points if you do use that. If you're going to play like a casual place to meet up with people you don't know, then you're probably going to be thinking, okay, I need to play with the new rules. But I'm more referring to the people who don't play like that. They don't play on like a random game night. They play in like a group with their friends every week, you know? And then you can just play any custom ones you want. You can write your own. You can go to a, a, a previous 
um, edition and play those. If you've got an old 7th edition book, play the missions out there. You've got Eternal and Maelstrom. I guess the other thing for me is, is just the frustrating fact that all of this is brilliant. Six monthly missions, points, updates, balance updates, great. I just wish it was all digital and, I guess, free. Like many other games, especially considering the cost of the models. This is true. Yeah, it obviously would be amazing if this was free, right? It'd be like, it'd be so good if they put updates out for free. But at the same time, they've been already doing this and they're already charging for it. Now, if the complaint is that this is just should be free, not that I don't want to have to buy something, then <laughs> that's kind of like another issue. Like, yeah, everything should be free, right? But, which is kind of like, you know, it's not really, I don't know if that's a, I don't know how I can justify that as an argument, you know? Like, yeah, it'd be nice if they were free, but they're already doing month three an update every three months for free called the balance update, you know? So the, the point is, the point I'm trying to make is like the, the, the way around it is that if you're a tournament player, you're going to buy this. But if you're a tournament player complaining about buying this, then you're only worried about your army getting nerfed. <laughs> but as a casual player, if you don't want to buy this, you don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to. You have your points on the Warhammer 40k app. You have your points on Battlescribe. You have your points on Wahapedia. You know, it's all going to be there, okay? It's all just going to be there. But more importantly, without endorsing piracy, then you you have the points on the app, which will be updated for free. And you have the balance update, which will be affecting rules in the, in the armies that are coming out for free, okay? But... That's the thing. If you don't want to buy it, you don't have to. So maybe this book isn't aimed at you. Maybe it's aimed at people who want to play tournaments, which is why the way I think they should market it, you know? But they don't. They market it as match play. But it also says Grand Tournament on the front. So I'm always confused. But let me know what you guys think. I don't know. I think it's just... I think people on Twitter like to moan. I love Twitter for it because I love laughing at people moaning. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think.